It's already being described as an oil price war. From this oil price war. So there really is no place to put the oil. And a crash in oil, oil prices plunged into US negative oil fell to less than nothing on Monday. Big oil is in trouble. In March 2020, Russia refused to cut its oil production, triggering a price war with Saudi Arabia that flooded the market with oil. Right when people didn't need gasoline, because they were stuck at home. Authorities in India are said to extend the nationwide lockdown. South Africa's president says he'll impose a nationwide lockdown. lockdown restrictions on the whole of England. Couple that with growing concerns over climate change. And it's easy to see why many analysts forecast the end of the oil age. It's the end of 200 years of fossil fuel expansion. The day of reckoning has come. But the oil industry is betting on another environmental vice. Plastic. What it comes down to is that the oil industry has to please Mrs. Martin and millions just like her. Already today, she's used some 87 petroleum products, including the plastic bacon wrapper and the wax of the milk cotton. She'll top 100 before the day is over. Oil is not just gasoline. It is used to make most of the world's plastics, streets, fertilizers, many medicines, and kerosene. The first oil tycoons, like Rockefeller, made their fortunes by selling kerosene. Gasoline was just a waste product. The illuminant was eventually replaced by the electric bulb, but the industry more than offset its losses by selling fuel for the new horseless carriage. Today's oil companies hope for a similar shift with plastic. The oil industry at the moment is in real difficulties because of COVID. Kingsmill Bond is the energy strategist for Carbon Tracker, a financial think tank that researches the impact of climate change on financial markets. Plastics used to be a very small part of oil demand. But its unique properties make it an excellent substitute for materials such as glass and metal. Growing populations and rising living standards have constantly driven up its production. And the coronavirus pandemic is exacerbating this trend. All of the other drivers of oil demand have started to fall away. Driving has been damaged by electric cars. Airlines, as we discussed, has been damaged by COVID. So almost the only hope left for the oil industry for growth is from plastics. The industry expects plastic to drive half of its future growth. And the big oil is getting down and dirty to make these predictions true. A New York Times investigation revealed that the industry is lobbying to weaken regulations on plastic in Kenya and use it as a hub for supplying US-made chemicals and plastics to other markets in Africa. And when they can't change regulations, big corporations have a few tricks up their sleeves. They distract, they delay, and then they derail. Emma Priestland is a plastic pollution campaigner who seeks to hold companies accountable for their plastic production. For example, lots of big companies, they come out with these big fancy sounding uh, commitments to tackle plastic pollution. Companies will come forward and say, look, we're already dealing with the problem ourselves. You don't need to make policy. But in reality, very little changes. But there are also more obvious tactics. They also lobby the actual policy processes. They try to change the meanings of words. They water things down. They throw enormous amounts of money at lobbying policymakers themselves. And then ultimately, once a policy has been made, the companies do everything they can to try to change the implementation of that. These strategies help companies avoid economic sanctions and keep the price for virgin plastics so low that possible alternatives struggle to compete. There have been some amazing innovations in recent years. We can produce bioplastic with plants rather than oil. And we are finding new ways of recycling it instead of extracting new fossil fuels. But their success is limited by their price. Making virgin plastic from oil is still cheaper. And 
And now the oil industry is investing in new factories that will lower the price of virgin plastic even further. But in the age of the Paris Agreement, this could be more than the world is willing to accept. Governments which take their Paris obligations seriously must and will act to curtail the, the use of virgin plastic. Because ultimately nobody likes plastic waste. Countries around the world have already started to take action to regulate plastic production. For example, China was the country that was receiving most of the world's plastic recycling. And this was leading to horrific environmental problems. So in 2019, China banned all imports of plastic trash. And many countries in Europe are going a step further. Countries have to either charge for plastic bags or they have to find other ways of reducing their use. We also see new legislation coming out that will ban some of the single-use plastic items that are really unnecessary. Things like plastic drink straws, plastic cutlery. We also see India trying to ban single-use plastics. For all these reasons, Big Oil's gamble on plastic seems likely to backfire. The industry is building huge amounts of new supply of plastic. And this, we think, is financially stupid in the context of the war on plastics. We really find that awareness of plastic pollution has skyrocketed in the past few years. Here is an industry which is planning to double capacity, and yet all across the world, consumers are saying, we don't like plastic waste. The world is changing. And so is the oil industry, but unfortunately, not in the same direction. Actually, as the transition now materializes, they're suddenly realizing that it's pretty stupid to have all of your assets and, and all of your capital expenditure in these dying areas. We really think that there is uh, going to be a waking up of investors, policy makers, and of course, normal people. And the companies are the ones who will have to change eventually. For now, plastic production is still increasing. But if public opposition to it continues to grow, new regulations could spell its decline and that of the oil industry along with it. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe and check out our YouTube channel. We have a new video coming out every Friday.